Meat Boy is back and today I'm going to show you guys a little trick I came up with to cook rare ground beef that is both flavorful and you know not heated too much. So we're maximizing the palatability and nutrients. You know, we're not sacrificing anything. Uh, so let's get started. So we have none other than the best burger blend from Frankie Strange Meat that has thawed out. So there's kind of blood everywhere. And my countertop has flour everywhere because we've been making a lot of bread. So be sure to share and like the video. Maybe I'll have the patience to film a sourdough recipe. But this is all we're gonna need guys. And of course, a little bit of salt. So we have the best burger blend on Frankie's Range Meat. We have ground tenderloin. We have all different types of ground beef. This one is my favorite because it is, you know, all whole cuts, uh, pretty expensive stuff. You know, some short rib in here, decent amount of fat, and it's ground coarse, uh, which is gonna help us later in this recipe. So if you have some regular ground beef, you're gonna have to chop it up a little bit more, but uh, we're gonna take about a third of a pound just out of the package like this. So we have our pan that's been sitting on medium heat for a few minutes now. Uh, I like the green pan, it's non-stick, it's minimally toxic. And if you guys have any questions about any of the cooking utensils I have, they are all on my Amazon shop, amazon.com slash shop slash Frank Tofano. So we're just gonna take our third pound chunk of beef, just put it in here, press it down, and just a nice pinch of salt on top. So the rest of the meat, I'm just gonna wrap it up and put it in the fridge for tomorrow. So we're gonna put the heat down to about medium. Most of the time, you won't have to add any oil to the pan. You know, unless the meat's really, really lean, then you might have to put in a little bit. So it hasn't even been a minute. And when we flip this over, we already have a really, really beautiful brown crust. So I'll just go to the other side Press it down a little bit in the pan. And then after about 30 seconds, I'm actually just gonna turn the heat off and let that side finish caramelizing. So a minute on each side, we take this off the heat. When you're ready to eat, oh, whoop de doo Frank, you cooked a burger patty, you're a genius. Yes, well, you put this in whatever pan you wanna serve it in, you could chop it up in the pan too, if you want. And then we just basically chop up the patty and you can make the patty as thick as you want, you know, and that'll dictate the ratio of caramelized meat to rare meat that you have. But this is by far the most delicious way to cook ground beef because you have a perfect mix of caramelized beef and basically raw beef, which for me is really, really delicious and it's a nice balance of nutrients. So, you know, then when I mix this into my udon noodles, the noodles might heat it up a little bit more, but you could also leave that in the pan for a bit. And, and the reason this is so easy to chop up is, is because of the coarse grind we have on Frankie's Shoe Range Meat. Uh, if you have a regular ground beef, you can probably still do this. It's just you're gonna have to like chop it up more and it's not gonna fall apart as easily. And when it's really, really ground up and like soft like that, it's also a little wet so it doesn't caramelize as quickly. There you guys have it. Hopefully you like this uh, little ground beef trick. I mean, that's it guys, just a simple trick to show you, but I haven't seen it anywhere else online, so I figured I would make a video on it. Uh, honestly, don't remember if I came up with this myself or if a viewer suggested it, but either way, uh, now you guys know, as we mentioned, we have the best burger blend on Frankie's Strange Meat. Uh, we have a tenderloin grind. We have a 95.5 lean blend, which is even leaner. And then we have a variety of all different types of ground stuff like bison, regular 80-20 ground beef, 85-15. Just check out frankiestrangemeat.com for all the different types of stuff. And we will have the fresh beef share available shipping out Wednesday of this week. Uh, and it's gonna be a coarser grind on there as well if you wanna try that out. So as always, thank you guys so much for joining me. You can go to frank stefancom where you will see all of my businesses, including Frankie Strange Meat. But please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. Thanks again for joining guys, and we'll see you soon. If you have any recipe ideas, be sure to let me know down in the comments. And guys, I, I have plenty of ideas, it's just, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm exhausted from work, so the last thing I wanna do is film a three hour sourdough bread video. 
Um, but if you guys have anything that's quick, simple, and easy, let me know.